Hey, 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 everybody. Getting ready for episode five of Tuesday Fish Talk Live with Ron Demers. Go ahead and share this out. We are live on Facebook, YouTube, Periscope, and Twitch. So if you're an uh, admin or a moderator of a Facebook group, share this out to your group and let's have a good night. All right. Here we go. How's it going, everybody? Welcome. What's up? What's up? Yeah, yeah. So, welcome to Tuesday Fish Talk Live with Ron Demers. This is a multi streaming show that we are having on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Periscope. So, we're streaming live tonight. This is our episode five. We're going to be dealing with aggression. These streams can be found by searching on Ron Cichlids page on Facebook. Uh, uh, or you can search for Ron Demers on your favorite streaming platform like Twitch and YouTube. Uh, when you find the show, uh, give us a subscribe. That way you get your notifications and you'll know when we're coming on live. And we appreciate that and it helps with our numbers. So our mission, you know, is to create a live experience for you, for our viewers and the Clubhouse group members. We are adding new segments and sponsors and prizes every week. And tonight, actually, we've got a pretty amazing giveaway, the 1,000-member appreciation giveaway that we're going to be doing that. If you like to talk shop, if you like checking out fish, seeing cool videos of tanks and fish, learning about the hobby, then you're definitely in the right place. So, like I said, my name is Dave Gould, and I'm the man that's in the control room uh, directing the show. And I also have the privilege of introducing you all to tonight's host, Mr. Ron Demers. Hey, Ron, what's Good going evening, on? Good evening, everybody. Hey, what's Hope going you on? all had a great Thanksgiving. Um, it's going to be a great show. Um, we're going to talk about something that I get asked about on a daily basis, which is aggression. So maybe a relatively long show, but uh, we have a lot to talk about. And I'm sure you guys are going to have a lot of questions. And um, I'm really looking forward to this one. This one, I think, is going to be a, a little more helpful than uh, some people think. Um, just sharing my knowledge, uh, yeah. what I've learned over the years. So let's uh, check out who's on with us. It looks like uh, I, I'll shout out a couple. Hey, Rob Kinsey, uh, Greg Haste, and James Miller. You seeing them any in front? Got Larry, Dwayne, our boy Randy, my boy Ron. Yeah, yeah. So Garrett Brewer. Uh, James Miller, Dwayne uh, Kirsty. Glad to have everyone on. Now, here's one of the aspects of this show that is really cool. If we can get 100 live viewers on this show, Mr. Ron Demers, Ron Cichlids, has offered to allow you to go on to his shop and pick out a large adult fish um, free of charge. And that we'll do that randomly. So we got to get 100. We're at 58, 59 right now. People coming on, jumping off. Um, so that's uh, an exciting thing. Um, let's, uh, go to some of the mentions. <clears throat> That's our free viewers, hundred giveaway, uh, Facebook live notifications. Let me show you that. I show you that every weekend, every week, uh, we'll probably end up not doing this as much anymore, but if you are a viewer and a fan of the show, one of the ways you can get a reminder every week when we about ready to go live is that if you go to Ron Cichlid's Facebook page, uh, or if you're watching the live now, you see this little bell up here? That's your notification bell. Just click that, 
say select all whenever we come on you get a a, a little um a notification so um we have that don't forget to go full screen we we've got a really cool setup ron we got like great graphics great music uh especially if you're watching on youtube where it's 1080 on facebook it's 720 um so go full screen get the full effect of the show see some of the production behind that um don't forget to share and like so not only just liking and sharing this video um but uh liking and sharing it when you when you share it out to your groups tonight we're gonna have a call in for the show and uh let's see i guess i can show that graphic i just don't want the music to go let's turn the music off there we go so we have this graphic um we're uh, one of the moderators is going to post this in the chat for us <clears throat> but if you are canadian uh, there's a Canada number there. We also have international numbers. So if you're international right now, we've been finding out that you're going uh, worldwide, Ron. <laughs> it's awesome. Yeah. Uh, but you, we've got people in Australia and, and several places around the world. So if you want to call in and you're international, uh, just give us a shout out. We'll get you that number. Let's bring you back up. So we had a member on the clubhouse today, um, you know, said welcome and thank you for welcoming him. Um, it's from Serbia. Nice. Nice. A long ways away. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it is. So, Small uh, world. Yeah, I know that there was a guy from Dubai that was watching. Um, we've got some people, like I said, in Australia and Canada. Um, so the call-in, if you want to call in tonight, there's that graphic. It should also show up in the chat at some point. Uh, the best thing to do is write it down. Now, if you do call in, uh, you will be put into hold. And it's just voice. You don't. I mean, if you wanted to call in and be on video, we certainly can handle that. Um, but just call in like voice, like your typical radio station. <laughs> you know, hey, what's going on? We really want to get it the call, uh, spin to win where the person spinning calls in. And at some point, we're going to make it so that you have to do that. You want to win the prize, you got to call in. Uh, but just do that. And um, last week we had an issue with the telephone numbers coming up. I've got a few steps. So bear with me. A lot of moving parts on my end. Uh, but I'll take care of that and make sure that doesn't happen. Uh, you see some of these other mentions here, Ron? You want to? Yeah, I was um, just reaching out and telling uh, everybody welcome. And then uh, shout out to 420s in the house. Yeah, yeah. Daniel is, Daniel's from Romania. Wow. Welcome, nice. Daniel. Nice. I see PK Campling's on there. So I do have a shout out at some point. I don't know where it is on our cheat sheet, but uh, I do want to take just one moment and give a shout out to Mike Tuttle, uh, Charlie yep. Wood, Chris Hebert, and PK Campling. They're the guys behind 420 Cichlids, which is a great group. We totally um, like the group and the members of the group. Keep in mind yep. that it is a over 18 content um, on that group. So we just want to mention that as well. But uh special shout out to those guys as well we might as well thanks guys yeah 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 we might as well hit these other groups too you want to name some of these off you see them over my shoulder so we got west coast cichlid exchange um crown royalty cichlids and then cichlid madness yeah yeah um, special shout out <laughs> yeah sorry i was gonna say special shout out to Gigi today for handling it just put it let's yep. just say that uh, thank you, Gigi, for uh, your support always and uh, keeping things real on your group. So um, do we get them all? Yeah, there's Southwest Fish Addicts as well with TJ Hofstetler. He's one of our mods, and he's got a great group going oh, there on over is. there. Yep. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So um, let's see. Where are we at? Um, I've been doing this for a couple of weeks. I've been doing it for a reason, Ron, as you know, we've talked about it. But if you've got a a uh, particular aquarium company that you really really like like who's your favorite like oh my god i would die for these people blow our chat up right now tell us who who they are is it Seachem? is it api is it finex is it fluval hagen products what is it just start blowing up the chat right now we want to see it we want to see who your favorite aquarium company is uh and what you like about them just just go ahead and start blowing up the chat i always got to remember we're 97 90 seconds behind so when i'm looking i'm like hey nobody's saying anything but i'm sure it's coming now so go ahead and do that blow that up we want to we want to know who you guys like the best 
I see Seacom coming, starting to come up and blowing up here. Yeah, yeah. So um, that's a good thing. That helps us uh, to understand where you guys are at. And you guys are probably figuring out why, right? <laughs> we got a great <laughs> giveaways tonight, right? Yep. Yeah. So uh, speaking of giveaways, I know I'm talking a lot, but, it's, you know, we talked about this, Ron, and sometimes it's easier for me to just spit all this business out. It's almost like a boardroom, right? <laughs> What's on the agenda? Today? <laughs> okay. So Dave Gould's got old business. Okay. Anyway, so uh, the giveaway rules and policies, we just want to say that really quick. Um, on our live show giveaways, you must be present on the live show to claim the prize, and you have to claim it. Within uh, about a minute, minute and a half, we're not, you know, total jerks here, but uh, we need you to claim that. In other words, we're going to roll that over to someone else if you're not here. There's no cash value that's implied by this. So um, if you win a prize, you're going to get a prize if you so choose to collect on it. Uh, some prizes will require the winner to pay shipping. We'll let you know beforehand. Uh, ha hasn't happened yet, but we just need to say that. Um, and then each person uh, may only win one time per month and winners are ineligible for giveaways for the rest of that month uh, until the following first of the month and then you're re, -el re eligible. So. And something I want to add to that is uh, if you guys do win something for me, um, try to get with me and get it uh, resolved in, you know, within a few weeks. There are some people that... Um, haven't claimed their winnings. Um, I don't know if it's the right time in their life to, to get something, but um, when I when I'm trying to give you something for free, um, try to uh, try to get back with me within a few weeks about uh, you getting that, so it's uh, easier for me to remember. Yeah, absolutely, and so uh, it makes a lot easier as far as the bookkeeping. So this is a two-person operation. You got Ron. On the expertise side, a great breeder, lots of knowledge, a great mentor in the hobby. And then Dave, of course, I'm kind of this uh, technical guy. Just think of it like that. Moral support. I'm here for Ron. <laughs> <laughs> He's we, my life coach. Well, tell him the story that we talked about just before the show, you, what you were saying about me uh, trying to get you on the camera. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so when Dave, Dave first approached me about, uh, hey, man, you – you would be good behind the camera. And I found gentle ways of saying no. And um, I finally started. And um, once I got the hang of it, it's something I enjoy. I look forward to. You know, I look forward to talking to you guys. Um, it's a way for me to interact with a lot of you at one time. So uh, it's uh, funny that it turned into this. But um, Dave's got a lot of fantastic ideas. And uh, some of them may seem odd. But um, once I wrap my head around it, um, it's for the best. Yeah, yeah. So my, uh, from uh, so every story's got two sides, right? From my side, it was like pulling teeth. <laughs> yeah. Ron, Ron, hey, you got a camera, right? You got a you got a cell phone, right? <laughs> Can you do some Facebook lives? Yeah. Anyway, I, the, the response that we're getting, Ron, on the show is unbelievable. We are averaging about 3,000 views within three days of the show. Our max, I think we maxed out at 5,600 on episode number two. Uh, we're being put in front of about 20,000 people that we can calculate. We can't calculate the YouTube and the Twitch, um, but I'm sure that puts it out there a little bit more. So um, it's a great idea. It's a great format. You know, we're all about... You know, this show, we, when we first brainstormed, it was like, you know, what is this show? Well, it's a gamified experience on social media. So in the hobby, we've always liked to watch these guys' YouTubes, right? Their, their YouTube channels and stuff. But there was no interaction, and so this is a way for us to gamify it. Let's give a preview. Uh, let's do this little episode promo, and then let's just uh, do that. Yeah.
All right. So tonight's show is going to be about aggression. We um, started out this in a progression. We talked a little bit about Ron, who Ron is, and then we went to the Malawi Lakes. We've done filtration. Last week we did nutrition, and this week we are going to talk about tank aggression. But, Ron, before we do that, let's go ahead and give some stuff away. Oh, man. (laughs) So... Uh, about three months ago, uh, when we first started this, we talked about building out some Facebook groups. You've got um, your uh, Ron Deemer's Cichlid Clubhouse, the Mabuna Hangout, the Tanganyika Clubhouse, uh, the New World uh, Hangout. Some great groups, some slower than others, but the Clubhouse has been going like gangbusters. And you reached that thousand mark and you wanted to do something special. So let's go ahead and just run this promo. So tonight we're going to have three winners. We've got, went ahead on the group and uh, asked people to join the raffle. Uh, you also extended that through Black Friday with purchases and all that. So, um, so yeah, let me roll this music back a little bit. Let's show what the prizes are going to be. Let's see. Let me roll this music back a little bit. So um, why don't you tell about the prizes? I'll let this just roll while it's going, Ron. Prizes this week are, um, I kind of contemplated on what to do, and I'm like, you know what? Go big, go home. You guys have been good. A thousand members is quite a bit. I started from none, so I appreciate you guys. Um, so first prize this week is a uh, Seachem Idol 55 power filter, um, $50 value. Um, Whoever the winner is, contact me, and it will be shipped to your door um, for all three prizes. Um, second place is another great prize. It's a 25-foot python. And for you, any of you who are doing water changes with a five-gallon bucket, you will love this if you win it. <laughs> um, that's another $40, $45 value. And then uh, third place is a uh, dual set a, a pair of circulation pumps power heads you know to, um, you know have one turned up to give yourself uh, some aeration in the tank and have the other one turned down to stir up the poo yeah yeah Three so, good prizes yeah i mean this is amazing and it's all still can't make this big announcement but just know that things are going to go off the hook with this show very soon <laughs> Anyway, I'll just that's all I can say. And um, but look, getting back getting back to the uh, giveaway, I noticed on the chat. I every so often I do look down. Uh, Dennis Kramer, you're asking what your numbers are. So we've made a couple of posts in the clubhouse. The rules for this uh, particular uh, giveaway were that you needed to be a member of the clubhouse, and so we've verified all that. Uh, everybody got a free entry. Uh, one entry per person on that as far as whoever signed up if you didn't sign up apologize we we talked about it every day it was on the announcement uh this morning uh, ron tabulated and i think it was 294 or something like that entries ended up with 295 total um i spent quite a bit of time on uh, microsoft excel triple checking making <laughs> sure every place somebody could have put raffle even though it wasn't supposed to be there, I counted every one of you. Um, and some of you who didn't put it in um, asked about it later, and I fixed that. Yeah, we got it. And in. some of you just put it in many, many times, but <laughs> I took care of that in Excel as well and um, did a search and uh, pulled out all the redundancies. So. Yeah, so we, we sort, sorted it out. There's actually... You know, we have a solution for this that's coming. Um, you know, I, was, I, I mentioned this earlier in a Facebook group comment that um, when you're building a business, sometimes entrepreneurs do what they call bootstrapping. And Ron's been investing quite a bit in his branding and doing stuff like this. You know, it's, it costs money to do stuff like this. So you pay where you can at certain times. Um, this show is going to have some software. We found some software that's really good that will just allow us to pick right from the chat right here, right now, and eliminate all the doubles and everything. So eventually this is going to be like one of the smoothest, slickest ways to give give it out. But it's actually a considerable amount of money uh, investment on that software. So we're still. Yeah holding off on that so let's go ahead and pull up the random generator 
And do, how do you want to do it? You want to do third place first, or you want to do first place first? Yes, let's do it that way. Let's do third place and second place, and then first place. Okay. So uh, the the answer to that question uh, was that your numbers are on a post, so you can go find that. I was going to pull that up, unfortunately. After the restart, it didn't make it. So, um, but we do have that. Um, let's go ahead and do that. So, uh, third place for a pair of Sun Sun Powerheads is going to be number. And I'm sorry, I just pushed the button. Let's uh, lost. I haven't I haven't put it over yet. So just bear with me. A lot of moving parts, like I said. Um, let's go ahead and bring the the random generator up. I lost you. On. Oh, there you're you you're still with me. You're still with me. Okay, so um, 295 is our number. 295. Yep. And so third place winner for the Sun Suns is going to be number 139. Someone tell me. Yeah, who's that? Announce it. 139 is Ryan Atkinson. Congratulations, Ryan. You need to um, contact Ron. There's no, there's no timeline, but I mean, sometime in the next day or so, uh, contact Ron, give him your information and uh, send that out. Congratulations. So I am going to reset this every time like this. So uh, second place, and we've got 290, oh, 296. I forgot about me. No, I'm teasing you. <laughs> <laughs> this is for the brand new 2018 Ford F-150. Oh, right. <laughs> Wrong show. This is for the second prize, a 25-foot Python. Uh, and if you guys don't use Python, I know a lot of members do. Um, I have one. Turns out that one bathroom has reverse thread and the other bathroom's got over thread or whatever you call it. And, but anyway, I still love it. Here we go. Ready? We should get a drum roll. Does anybody have a drum roll? Uh, maybe if we had a guy that was a coordinator for this show, maybe he could come up with something yeah. like that. Yeah. Let's get a drum roll. I, you want a drum roll? I'll get a monkey to sit down and pound out the baddest drum solo you've ever heard. Yeah. Okay. All right. Generate. Come on. There's people that want their prizes. All right. So we're generating. Oh, my gosh. Here it is. It changed on me. There we go. Number 159. Wow, that was close to the other one. Um, Nathan Pate. Nathan. One and only uh, Good part job. of our moderator team. Good job, buddy. Congrats. Good job. All right, Nathan. All right, so that leaves one more. And I need to, I'm going to reset the grand this. prize. The grand prize. Now, I've been hearing oh, a lot wow. about this Seachem uh, title filters. They have uh, variable control on the in, the input and the output. So that's pretty cool. Pretty neat. Uh, and a lot of compartments and space for your bio and, and mechanical filtration. So let's go ahead and do this. Speed it up a little bit. 295. And the grand prize winner for tonight is 166. Dang, they were all really close. Yeah, they were. Um, Brian Artrip. Right on, Brian. So, uh, Brian, Nate, and um, I forget the other guy's name. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'll pull uh, it up. Yeah. Um, Ryan Atkinson. Ryan, yeah. So, give uh, Ron a shout out. Uh, send a send a message to Ron Cichlid's page message. So, um, maybe one of the admins can type in HT. I can do this right now. I'm good at this. HTTP. Um, if I can find the colon, colon, forward slash, forward slash, okay, m dot me, forward slash, Ron's Cichlids PB. All right, so that should, that URL should allow you to send a message. All right, so let's go ahead and move on. Congratulations, everybody. Uh, I know you wanted to say your appreciation to Ron. I appreciate all of you, every one of you. Um, it's my way of saying thank you. Um, I, don't, I don't just see it on my page. I see your, what do you want to call it? I see your loyalty. I see your friendship on other pages. I see it when somebody 
says something derogatory or they they are childish i see you guys step up when i'm not there and uh big brother and um it's appreciated um i think most of you know who i am um and aren't going to stand for that so i appreciate it i just uh i really do from the bottom of my heart i uh appreciate all of you guys yeah so um let's go ahead and move on i'm trying to do something here and i apologize it's uh the computer's taking my attention away for some reason somehow or another i let me just hit this excuse me go ahead and talk a little bit ron we can get you into the topic now if you want um yeah, let's go right into the topic. Um, so, as I mentioned, um, the points we're going to talk about tonight um, due to aggression are aggression due to fish size and species types, um, aggression due to mixed tank and mixed tank species, um, aggression due to males and females mixing them in a breeding situation, um, uh, also aggression due to tank size. Um, and decorations and uh, last thing we're going to touch on is how to curb ag aggression uh, whenever possible so with those topics um, I'm going to jump right in on the to the first one um, I get asked this question a lot you know most of you aren't going to see aggression it doesn't mean it doesn't exist it means that you're not spending all that time in front of the the fish tank visualizing it. Uh, most of the aggression is going to happen when the lights are turned off, be as it is night or early morning. And just because you don't see it doesn't mean it's not happening. So we'll talk in a little bit about those different types. But first thing I want to talk about is uh, one of the questions I get is, is what about species? So when you're putting in a fish of a large size and you've got some that are smaller, yes, the larger ones are gonna be a little more aggressive. Um, they're gonna exert their dominance. There's a pecking order and that pecking order needs to get established before the tank is gonna try to be copacetic. Um, uh, specific species are known to be more of buttheads than others. OBs, dragon bloods, fire haps. Um, these are just some that, if you look at enough people's posts, you can realize that these fish are notorious for just snapping and, and, and going off on another fish. Um, another thing that uh, some fish don't like is another fish that looks very similar to them. So, in a case, let's say you have electric blue friar eye, electric blue Ali and you've got a dolphin mori or an azurus or a regal um they look similar as far as color wise and some fish don't tolerate another fish that looks similar to them um that's the main topic um is is the size of the species um the next one which we don't talk about very much at all but more and more people are are doing mixed tanks um and i'm not against it i'm not for it i'm kind of you know like switzerland i'm kind of in the middle yeah um if done right by an experienced keeper that is keeping an eye on a tank it works so you have to realize that south american fish and africans and central american fish they come from different parts of the world and they're not used to being around each other so not being used to being around each other can cause problems. They have different requirements for pH and temperature and all that stuff. We're not even going to go into that. But you, you stick a 12-inch Jack Dempsey in with a 3-inch Mabuna, <laughs> they may not get along. I mean, yeah. even though you bought them all at 2 inches from the local pet store and now they've gotten big, it, they don't get along anymore. Um, if you're talking about Africans, you know, you got peacocks, hat, mabunas, tanganikans, shell dwellers, a lot of fish. Now, some of the smallest fish that you could keep are the meanest. Um, mabuna, um, prime example. We all, most of us all know mabuna are mean. Um, 
Peacocks are a little more passive. Haps are a little more outgoing. But they're not all created equal. I mean, you have specific species like, um, um, like Frontosa, believe it or not. Very passive species, non-confrontational most of the time. You've got species like Lethernops redcaps and um, uh, Malawi trout. Even though these fish, when they do get bigger, are more outgoing, when they're smaller, they're very passive fish. And yeah. um, you were telling, we were talking about this earlier. So, uh, how this works? Each week, we come up with a topic and start talking about it and figuring out what what we want to what Ron wants to say. And I try to help him get in that. So we have these conversations. One of the things I thought was interesting is when you were saying how individual just like a dog right you can have one pit bull is total killer another pit bull laying with babies and doing all that so absolutely talk, talk a little bit about that as well as far as you know individual fish and i i could just name one which has been known to be an ass no matter how many of them kept it's uh you know electric blue ollie fryer eye you know whatever you want to call them i i went through six of them before they were i found one that was chill I even had two that were brothers that I raised from Fry, and uh, they, they loved each other until about five inches, and then they, they couldn't stand each other anymore. It's just one of those fish that they saw somebody else that looked like them, and they did not like them at all. They don't get along, but I use this analogy a lot, and most of my customers have heard me go down this road before, but let's, just, let's say it's a guy thing. You put 10 of us guys in a 10 by 10 room, no TV, no women, no alcohol, nothing. It's not going to be long before we're going to have a problem with somebody. But if you take 30 of us and put us in there and give us what we need, we're not in a, we're not in a bitchy mood. We don't want to fight. We don't want to, we don't want to cause a commotion. You know, you don't show up at the first day of jail, picking a fight with somebody You mind your business and you go in the corner, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, um, so what, what, what we've been taught, and here's the other thing that I think you, you were touching on that was hitting home for me, <clears throat> was that, yeah, there are aggressive fish, and they will kill. important that we talk a little bit about, because I took a lot from it, the stress and how unhealthy that is for, um, for so that, that's why you don't put an Oscar with a group of a bunch of uh, Africans, because the Oscar could stress them all out that they're all going to get sick and die, you know, so... Or it might work. People, yeah. Go ahead. No, I was just saying, or it might work, you know, depending on the Oscar, right? So. Exactly. I mean, I mean, you could cross the road 147 times and it can work. And the 148th time you get hit by a car. It's you just, it's a game of chance. Um, what I wanted to touch on was realize that a lot of fish from us breeders Come from typically a species only tank. Species only tank is, let's just say, um, we're going to call it a, uh, a fire hap. Species only fire hap is a tank full of fire haps. That's it. Nobody else. So the problem is, is these fish have been born and raised without any other fish. They know each other, and their aggression levels at a certain level. But when they find somebody new, they don't know. It's different. They don't, they don't know what it is. So these new fish, it's, I know I'm derailing a little bit, but it's important to talk about because I ship fish every day. This fish can be 100% perfectly healthy. I've acclimated him to live coexistently with others, feeding him. He is an awesome fish. He's great. You get him and put him in your tank, and within a few days, he's not doing so good. Most people may think, oh, that's just, there's something wrong with the fish. That's not the case. If I pull you from your South Florida house and I drop you off in Alaska, you're going to be out of your environment. You're going to be stressed. You're going to be shocked. And when everything, it drops the immune system down, it makes them weak. And before you know it, the fish has got ick. The fish is sick. You think, oh, it must have come that way. It didn't come that way. It's the stress that opened the door for those diseases, all those things to come in. So, 
I know that's not really what I wanted to touch on tonight, but it's a subject that I get asked about a lot. And people are usually wanting to say it's a fish issue. It's not a fish issue. What it is, is in your environment, that fish feels threatened. He feels intimidated. And it's just like a bully at school. You don't physically have to talk to me or touch me to be intimidating towards me. The same thing. So this is a great conversation. And we talked about this also at the beginning of the show was how there's so much that we're never going to get through it all in one show and to make it in a reasonable time. So one of the ideas behind Fish Talk Live was a way to generate um, topics for Facebook groups. Obviously, if you want to join Ron Cichlid's um, uh Cichlid Clubhouse and come in to join our conversations. That's great. But even in your other groups, great conversation starters. So if we don't, if Ron goes too fast over something, we've got a chat at the end of the show that you can just join up, start asking. We'll both be there for a little while. And also these are topics that we can talk about all week in the groups. So I want, I wanted to say one thing. I've been watching the live numbers and they've been teetering between 98, 97, 94, 92, We, we saw, we got over a hundred. We did it. Oh, you did it? Okay. Yeah, we're going to, we're going to do it. We're so, going to do this. Okay. So you know what that means? Now let, let's put something else on it. So we've got to keep that up there. You got to keep that number up there until we do that. So if we can keep everybody on and watch it, but you know, we're going to talk a little bit more about aggression. Then we're going to take a break and come back for live questions and answers uh or we may give a fish away first so you never know so don't drop out too soon <laughs> make them stick around and wait for yeah them. yeah but um congratulations to this group of viewers to the fans of this show that you've done that and in order to do that ron's going to reward you and give away an adult size four inch your choice too a lot of times you'll find in in the just like here's your fish this is what you get Ron says, come on my shop. <laughs> Anything that's four inches, uh, it's, there's a size, you know, you can search by size and uh, take a pick if it's an Mbuna or a Peacock or a Hap or whatnot that you're looking for. So um, let me just recap. We talked about aggression due to uh, fish sizes, um, fish size big and dominance, uh, not necessarily have to be a big fish. Like some of the smaller ones can dominate those big ones. Um, species specific. Uh, coloration has a lot to do with it. You know, the yellow ones are going to chase the other yellow ones. I know my yellow lab and um, um, the Kenyes, they're constantly after each other. Uh, there's a lot of aggression due to mixing the tanks. Um, and then did you get into the males and females yet? Hey, hey, hey. There's yeah, the, there's my, just... my cat Petey was making a cameo again. I think he's going to do this every week. <laughs> I, got, I got a cat sitting behind me too. Kiki. He's always there. Yeah, Kiki. yours is always there, too. Hey, Kiki. Kiki was found on the on the highway here in Alabama. She was about that big. I was out of town, and Randy uh, came to pick me up at the airport, and she says, I, I found something. <laughs> so that was cool. I found one earlier this year right in the middle of the road, and I drove right. I straddled it. I didn't know what it was, and I said, what is that? And I, I stopped and went back and it was a kitten that wasn't more than a week and a half old. It was yeah. just tucked up in a little ball right in the middle between the yellow line and the white line on a highway and um, picked it up and uh, um, and held on to it for a little while. And the neighbor had a bunch of cats and, and she took it in and took care of it. But uh, every turtle we see on the road, we get off and we, we bring them over and, and get them out of the way. We're, we're just, I don't know, we're just that type of people, you know. I know, I know it seems weird. I'm a, I'm a hunter and I'm a fisherman, but at the same time, I, I cherish every animal regardless. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. Lots of, I think fish people are generally animal lovers. I, I've noticed a lot. Um, hey, um, let's, let's progress the conversation a little bit. Let's, let's right. talk a little bit about the signs of aggression. Like what, what are you, how do you know that your fish is, is under stress and things like that? So when you add new fish to the tank, one thing is, as I, I saw this question, I want to address it and roll right into it is, is try not to add one fish at a time um, and try not to let it leave it floating in the bag while all the other fish go, hey, hey, there's the new guy. When he comes out of the bag, let's kick his ass. Yeah, he looks tasty. Um, try to do it four at a time. If you know that you may have that type of issue, acclimate the fish in a bucket before you add them. 
and uh, turn off the lights in the tank when you add new fish. Maybe do a water change and redecorate before the new fish show up. But um, first sign is typically a fish that is secluded, standoffish. It will maybe be hanging, uh, won't come out when everybody else eats. It may be hanging up in the corner where it's darker, where or behind a filter, um, or hides in a rock or something a lot. Um, those are some of the signs. Um, other signs are, um, you know, tattered fins, um, marks on the side, um, loss of appetite. You know, um, it's stressful um, going from one location to a new home. And if they're feeling stressed from the other fish or even the, even the ride in the, on the airplane to get there, uh, sometimes they don't want to eat right away. Um, and if there is aggression going on in that time frame, it just adds to it. So typically aggression happens in the evening and you'll see the damage in the morning. Uh, most of us, most of you, I mean, I, I don't know your schedules, but I remember when I worked a regular, you know, nine to five job, so to speak, I just made sure the tank was running in the morning and didn't really pay attention to it, you know, till, till I got home. And um, I would only view it for a few hours and everybody got along fine. And then I'd go to bed. And then the next morning, somebody was beat up. And I'm like, what's going on? Well, I, I did many stakeouts, private investigator stakeouts, <laughs> and sat in the living room with the lights off, kind of like a. That's funny you say that because I do that too. <laughs> and I could hear it. And I'm like, what's going on in there? And then you, know, you can't flip on a light or anything, you'll freak them out. They just do your best to, to, without night vision technology, to, to see who's, who is it. I started feeding fish within 30 minutes of the lights going out. I should probably write a paper on this, but damn, it worked. Um, and my analogy is it's perfect because you all just had Thanksgiving dinner. After you got done eating all of that amazing food, did you really want to pick a fight with somebody? Or did you just want to go sit on the couch, watch the football game, and unbuckle your pants a little bit? You don't want to fight. So I started feeding these fish later in the evening, later and later and later. And then it got to where within 15, it did make a difference. Um, you have to pay attention to your tank to see if you have an aggression issue. You can't be naive and think, oh, everybody gets along fine. There's no problem. If no one's dying and everything is copacetic, you can make that assumption. But we typically are talking about African cichlids. In nature, they don't get along. Uh, Chim Chimps Chimpsgiving, I think it was called, if any of you watched that show. And you can see these um, chimpanzees. There was 150, 200, one of the largest groups in Africa. They heard somebody come too close to their border and some of the other ones got in their tree to eat their figs on their property line. They went crazy. The terminology would be ape shit. They went crazy. <laughs> they literally in full force attacked these things, killed them and ate their own. <laughs> I mean, that crazy. Yeah. They shouldn't be able to figure out how to get along, but they can't. Um, it, it opened my eyes. I didn't understand that some animals could be so. I mean, we, we hear about things like lions and others, and they come in and they, they kill they, they, they kill off everything, all the babies, and they start over again. But uh, it was shocking to me. So sorry to derail again, but um, you, you have to pay attention to your tank. You have to know what's going on with it identify whether or not you instincts can. they're wired that way yeah their instincts that you know will change yes. and you'll see him like uh, you'll have a tank uh, a particular fish make his move his move on the tank boss <laughs> he's like i've had enough you know you just so. recently <laughs> separated one too didn't you uh, yeah. on an ollie or something yeah i threw him back in the abuna tank so that he can hang out with the with those guys and he's chilling there he doesn't do anything he just looks around like what am i doing here so I think and something you guys need to do too is you guys need to be cautious on your species. If you're if you're unsure, talk to somebody like me because some people will attest that 
You may ask for a fish, and I already know what kind of fish you have, and I'm going to tell you, John, that's not a good idea, man. Don't get that fish. I'm, I'm not trying to be that fish salesman. What I'm trying to do is save you from that headache that I know is not going to make it. That fish may be perfectly fine with some other species, but maybe you want to put that headache as much as humanly possible. Yeah, so we're kind of running out of time on our topic section. Um, All right. Let's, let's, uh, I want you, but I do want you to give your advice on how to curb uh, aggression. Maybe we can just jump through this on stones and then carry this over into. I mean, I, mean, I, I could fly through, I'm going to try to fly through everything real quick. So, something else, um, we have aggression due to males and females, uh, you know, you mixing males and females together. So, this is things you already know about breeding behavior dominance behavior, pecking order of the alpha male and subdominant males. The tank is right behind me here. There's a subdominant and an alpha male. There's also alpha females and females don't tolerate other females the same way. Something else that's very important is tank size. If you have a, a narrow tank or a short tank and the fish are kind of jammed up together, sometimes that can be a problem, especially on bigger fish and they'll set up territories. Um, or if you have an over-decorated tank where there's just too much going on where they can set up territories, um, I prefer more open tanks. But um, those are just a couple little things I wanted to touch on. Um, um, so how to curb aggression? Um, curb is the magic word. Not solve, but curb. We're going to try to help alleviate as much as we can. Um, most of y'all have heard of overstocking. It's not a myth. It's not a legend. It's real. Um, the more fish that you can shove into the tank, as long as your filtration, tank space, and parameters can handle it, the fish won't pick on each other as often. There's too much going on. They're, 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 they're like, squirrel, squirrel, squirrel. <laughs> they can't isolate one fish to pick on. There's just too many. Um, same analogy I had a little while ago with shoving all of us guys in one room. Um, another way to do it, uh, to, to curb aggression, is before you even start stocking the tank, start figuring out what do I want in a tank and, and, and which, which ones get along. So um, most people want to have peacocks and halves. And the reality is, is as they mature and they, they get farther into fish keeping, they end up having a peacock only tank and a half only tank. At some point, some of the peacocks just don't get along with the halves. They're a little more passive. So pick your tank mates carefully. If you have a question, call me and ask me, message me, whatever. Say, Ron, I really like this species of fish. Will it be okay? And then I will tell you, yes. It should be. I'll never tell you yes, 100%. Anybody in this industry that says, oh, yeah, that dragon blood will be perfectly fine with your Malawi trout, they're talking out their ass. They're just trying to sell you something. None of us know for certain whether or not a fish is going to get along with the other one. I can give you my 26 years of experience, but I still can't guarantee you they're going to get along. So ask me or ask somebody that you trust, and we'll help you with that. Um, temperature. Temperature is a huge role in this. 78 to 80 degrees is ideal. Um, you start getting much warmer, 82, 83, 84, it's, it's, you're going to have aggression issues. Warmer water um, makes fish more aggressive. It's, it's written in stone. Um, I don't like going much colder than 78. Um, unless we're getting a, a temperature spike, I'm looking outside right now, and one of my tanks is, is 76.2 because we're cold in Florida. <laughs> you, poor, um, you poor guy. Yeah, I know it's <laughs> it, it's getting cold. So one of the tanks right now, it's digital. I can see it about 30 feet away. It's 76.2. Um, and then feeding, um, as I discussed earlier, um, I, I've done that experiment where I feed my fish in the evenings, and it helped it helped curb the aggression. Um, it's, it's not a guarantee, but it's something that's worked for me and all of my fish now, anything bigger than four inches, um, they all get fed in the evening. This time of the year, it gets dark at six o'clock. Most of my fish are outside. They get fed between five and five thirty. They go to bed with a full belly. They don't, they don't want to fight. 
Yeah. Awesome discussion, Ron. A lot of good knowledge. I've learned a ton just listening um, to you and these conversations we've had the last couple of days. Um, we're going to go ahead and we're going to take a break. And when we come back from the break, short little break, we're going to open up to a few chat questions. If you have a question, hey, why don't you call in? So we've got a call in number here. Uh, write it down. I know our mods have been putting it on there. I'm looking for the call in number. Da, da, da. Um, go ahead and go call us in and. Yes. My pleasure. My Dave, I don't we're getting a whole lot of no audios. Oh, hey, can you hear me now? There you go. So I turned the wrong one down. You know, like I said, a lot of moving parts. When I say a lot of moving parts, there's like 50 things in front of me. Turn this on, turn that off, turn this on, turn that off. Okay, so I'm going to say it again. I'm sorry. This is going to make the show go an extra 30 or 40 seconds. Thank you so much for that. Hey, uh, we noticed we're reading a chat. We're going to do some chat questions. Uh, looking for some call-ins. You still have time to call in? Chris. There's our first call in. Um, Join the meeting. Yeah, we didn't get the name on that. Um, go ahead and wait if you've called in. If that's you, um, just go ahead and wait. Uh, one of the things we wanted to say is that we noticed that somebody was butthurt about the last giveaway just about 10, 15, 20 minutes ago, um, saying that mods shouldn't be a part of it. Well, <laughs> look. Well, our mods are part of the group, and this is a group appreciation. And if, if the mod wants to go in, and it's as fair for them as fair as for anybody, so it's random. Yeah, yeah, it's random, and we just don't like that kind of stuff. So don't don't be like that, okay? I mean, there's a lot of other groups where if you're going to nitpick and do those kinds of things, you can just go there and do that. Anyway, so with that said, um, God bless America. 
All right, so we do have someone that's called in. Go ahead and get your uh, questions there. Ron's going to monitor those as well. And I'm going to change this real quick. So hard. Yep. All right, so who do we have online right now? Hello, hello. And I think they're muted. Let me unmute them. Hello, hello. Hey, Dave, Ron, how's it going? Good. Hey, how are you? Who is this? I'm doing good. Doing good. This is Chris uh, from 420 Cichlid. Awesome. Hey, hey, Chris. What's going on, Chris? How's things out in <laughs> Vancouver? You're in Vancouver, right? Things, yeah, out in Vancouver. Things are things are good. It's uh, coming down real bad outside. Uh, oh. We got a big windstorm going on, so I got oh. some battery-powered pumps all ready to go just in case. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> fun times. It's a beautiful tough. country. Um, Man, I don't know if I can deal with that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, tell yeah, us. It gets pretty stormy here. Hey, tell us about the tanks that you have. Uh, uh, to, wh what do you keep and the kind of fish? And just tell us a little bit about yourself. I've got a I've got a 110 uh, gallon peacock and hap tank that I'm waiting to upgrade to 180. I've got it sitting out in my shed, nice. being worked on right now, building nice. a sump and everything for that. Nice. And then I have a 75 gallon flower horn tank that i have a uh red dragon uh flower hornet oh my gosh so and so you're familiar with aggression then is what you're saying <laughs> very familiar with aggression yeah. yeah i've uh i've gone through a couple of fish that i've had to get rid of because they had the entire tank on the other side of the tank and them by themselves on the one side that's great i that's get awesome. asked that question sometime why are all my fish on the other end of the tank i said Look at the other end. Who's over there? Yeah, he's an ass. <laughs> yeah, usually an Obi. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so how's it going? Did, um, you, did you have a question about tonight's topic at all, or a story? I, I did. I, or a story? I'm not sure. I'm not sure what, uh, no, no stories. But I'm not sure what the other uh, callers had asked. Um, but uh, I know a lot of people talk about. Uh, moving stuff around in your tank, moving your rocks or your decoration around to yep. curb aggression based on the fact that you're moving territories around. Yes. Is that true? Um, it, it is a true statement. It depends on what type of decoration, what you have. Um, for peacocks and haps, you want a more open tank. That's their natural environment. But if you do allow a fish to have a cave or a hole, it will want to take it over, and um, that is causing the aggression. So you're best off if you is taking it out. But moving stuff around helps. And and I'm a fisherman. I'm in Florida. Every year we get a storm, and we love our snapper. Snapper is amazing to eat. The snapper are 150, 200 feet offshore, but when we get that storm, it moves everything around, and they actually come in to like 60 feet and are out of their element, and uh, we catch a bunch of them. It's, this, it's the same type scenario. They're confused and dazed for a few days until they figure it out, and then they go back the way they were. So yeah. the same thing with these guys. Um, I actually prefer to leave the tank relatively open. You know, um, hate doing it this way, but you know, this tank behind me is my yellow blaze tank. That's a 90 gallon tank, but that's the only rock I have in there. Um, I, yeah. pre I prefer to keep it open to keep that from happening. Um, I but, can I can share a little bit about my Mbuna tank particularly. So I have an Mbuna tank. It has a lot of rocks, a lot of places, um, but I move that stuff around I, and I change the water twice a week so because i have some nitrate issues and so i just love giving them fresh water um, but i'll move this stuff around each time because <laughs> these guys are crazy you know like uh, uh in particular you know driving fish to the corners and things like that and then every time i do add new fish it's usually after a water change and after i move this stuff so it does help for me in my my case and for my rascals as i call them they're little rascals but anyway Plus, it changes it up visually for you as the fish keeper. You may not want to look at it the same way every day. This is a living portrait on your wall, basically, yeah, yeah. that you have the opportunity to change the portrait whenever you like. So. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Chris. No, I, it definitely is. 
we really really appreciate you calling in uh it's awesome and i appreciate you too as a friend yes, you're a good you. you're a good guy and uh love the stuff Indeed. that you yeah, I love the stuff that you're doing at, with your guys' group over there at 420 Cichlids. Happy to have you here, too. Yeah, again, that's Thank a, you very much. Thank you very much. It's an 18 and over group. <laughs> we always mention yep. that. Yeah, 18 and over. But it's Definitely, uh, that's, that's one of the requirements. And don't be shy. I mean, if you're timid uh, about, you know, if you're very politically correct. Or, there's just a lot of open discussions, and I love that group, about that group. So, it, and, it You don't need to be a smoker. You don't need to be a smoker to be in our group. Um anyone who just wants a chill, relaxed fish environment where you're not going to have people jump down your throat about things. That's what we are. Yeah, absolutely. I agree. I wish there was more groups like that. And that's, that's what we set. This is why we, I created my own group because of all the crap and the drama and the hate <laughs> and the yeah. crap that's on all these other sites. You know, I said, you know what? The only way for me to control this situation is for me to own the page. Yeah. And um, yeah. if you set the mood from the get go, everybody comes yep. on board with it. If you allow the, the 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 disrespect and the hate, others feed off of it, and it grows exponentially. So yeah. I'm I'm happy that there's other groups like us, especially you guys, that are are keeping it to what it's the, the focus is supposed to be on fish. Yeah helping people we're all a big family and um it doesn't matter what your beliefs are what your habits are where you live what color your skin is what you choose to do with your free time what you do it doesn't matter this is a, a safe place for us to get together and um and and be a family yeah so 100 percent. i couldn't agree more so a great group of guys over there, Mike Tuttle, uh, Charlie Wood, PK Campling, and Mr. Chris uh, Hebert that's on the phone with us. Thanks again, Chris. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks for representing, good. Chris. Thank All right. Thank you very much, Ron. Okay. Have a good night. Talk okay. to you guys soon. You too. So um, we don't have any other calls, so let's go ahead and answer some of these quick chat questions, and then let's give some fish away. Give it away, give it away. Give it away now. Yeah. So let's uh, let me see. Uh, when's the one kind of fish? We need to do the we need to do the fish thing because I'm getting I got a question about that. Okay. So you want to give away a fish and? No, no, no. Do the uh, do the uh, the the what our 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 take on the fish of the week thing. Oh, Unless okay. Had yeah. Part of the show. Let's speed it up. And so uh, the, the live question and answer for tonight because of the time con, uh, consideration is going to move into Ron Cichlid, Ron Deemer's clubhouse, and we'll continue those and answer any questions you have. So for the fish of the week, we have something different here. Okay. So the, this is not how we normally do this. Normally we will show a fish that Ron has been raising and breeding or, or has, and he can, um, then talk about it and to give you some information about that particular kind. Ron has a fish that's out of his personal collection. Uh, so let's just go ahead and run the video and let you look. It is available. And I mentioned this in the group that there's going to be an amazing show fish. And when you see the size of this fish, you're all going to, your job. One of my babies. I raised him and <laughs> bred him. And I have, I have seen him from the day he came out of his mother's mouth until today. This yeah. is, this fish is probably going on a year and a half old, and I have been there every step of the way to watch him grow. So he's he's near and dear to my heart, and I want to find a, a really good home for him. Now be ready for this, okay? Because this is first come, first serve. We're going to show you the fish. We're going to make it available on the website. Ron, <laughs> you forgot to remind me. Let's see. Oh, sorry. Let's do this. It's all good. There's like I'll handle that. You go. Ahead, you do what you're going to do. I'll handle that. Yeah, activate that on the website because well, no, we can't do that. It's got to be done right now. So I'll just do it real quick. So there we go. Boom, boom, boom. Bear with us. Always some sort of technical thing. We we removed it from the website just so that somebody wouldn't accidentally buy it before we yeah. talked about it. Yeah. So we're trying something new. It's like we're going to flash this fish. There's only one of them. I guarantee you. You've I've never seen a fish like it. I mean, I've seen a fish like it, but not at this quality and size. And uh, the price is going to blow you away. So everybody, you know, be ready. You're going to want to jump on this fish. And whoever's fastest and can get there can do it. So let me go here. Let me just search. I'm in the stop right now. I'm on the back end. 
and it's uh, this is what they're going to be looking for. Search for Obi. No, I have to do um, that term. There it is. Okay, so now oh. let me just go right there and uh, just add add the quantity right here. All right, so he, he's going to be available. And all you all, right. ser all you serious collectors, uh, this is a fish you're going to want. So here we go. Let's go with the video. Fish of the week. So go ahead, Ron, if you want to talk about it. So the nine. This is um, one of my babies. Um, I was doing a OB project a couple years ago, and um, this was one of my male breeders. He's a blueberry orange. Um, nine baby. inches. This fish is nine inches. He is one of the largest specimens of uh, an OB peacock you're going to come across. He is definitely a show quality fish. Now wait um, for it. Wait for it. You get, when you see this price, then we're going to, you'll see it flash at the top how to get it. So it's first come, it's first serve. Whoever gets it first, $49 right now. Please go to the shop and buy it. If you want that fish, jump on it. Search, uh, search for fish of, of the week. Baby shop.roncicklage.com search for fish of the week and if you want him he's amazing <laughs> in that in in that 10 gallon tank he looks like he's like four inches that's why we that's had to... a that's a two and a half gallon tank. oh okay yeah. 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 Yeah, he's uh he's, he's lived a great life uh and been spoiled rotten with uh, my food and some frozen he's uh He's a retired breeder, um, produced some amazing offspring for me, and then a friend of mine got him for a while, and uh, I got him back from my friend, and uh, I look at him every day, and they're truly remarkable. All right, so let's go ahead and move on to uh, giving away the fish for the 100 people that came on here. So um, yep. I'm going to... There's the music you all have been waiting for. So you know, this is the way this works, is I'm going to type... Let me turn this music I'm going to type in, and I'll tell you when. Don't do it now. You're going to type in spin, and it will be after you see my message that says type spin to win, or type spin. So... Yeah, so I was reading something there. So when we do this, I'm going to type it in and then I'm going to play a song. The song is just under two minutes. So you have exactly two minutes to type the word spin. Only do it one time. Only type it in once. And let's keep the chat open and clear because uh, it's we have to go through the chat in real time, figure out how many people are there, and then we're just going to give it away. Normally it's spin to win. We're not going to spin. Uh, you, maybe just, yeah, whatever, type spin or type win. It doesn't matter what you type. And we're going to count you up, and then we're going to give let you choose a large fish on the site. So here we go. Are you ready? I'm going to type it in here. So type win or spin, whatever you want. By the way, you snooze, you lose. The OB's gone. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's gone. Okay, here we go. So while this song is playing, go ahead and type the word spin or type the word win. It doesn't matter. Let's type it in right now. Come on, let's see who wants to win a fish. This is for a large fish off of Ron Cichlids. Boom. All you gotta do is type the word in. This is free. Who else out there is giving away free fish like Ron Keith the Merch? Huh? Honestly, who is doing that? I mean, yeah, people give away fish and all that, but I mean... Are they is, doing it for the right reason? Yeah, this is a full Monty right here. This, is, this guy is awesome. Not only cares about his customers and his business. Anyway, type that in. You've got a little bit left. As soon as this song is over, type in spin. And our chat moderators will be counting. Okay, 
You wanted a longer song, Ron. You got a, lo- a, ro- a longer song. Oh, anyway. uh, it's 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 ending now. <laughs> Someone said the music was killing them, but anyway. Oh, I muted all my devices, so yeah. Let's bring us back up here. I'm sure, it's awesome. That's the chat. Oh, there we go. So here we are. We're back. How do you guys like my little fish uh, transitions? I did. Tell me if you like them. That was the green meanie. Here he comes again. Oh, he's <laughs> mean aggressive fish. And then we had the purple meanie, right? Then we had the stressed out fish. And he's a little stressed out. <laughs> Anyhow. Having fun with the TV studio. Anyway, so there we go. All right, so so while that's being calculated and while it's going through, we are going to check out the member of the week video. So we talked a little bit about how the reach of the music was overmodulated. Okay. Hey, we're doing the best we can. Uh, We talked about our reach. This uh, member of the week video comes from a clubhouse member Marilyn Daly who is in Australia so um, awesome Marilyn we're going to give you one extra spin on that so go ahead and talk about this if you want Ron can you see it oh there it is yeah. I see it now um, yeah real nice tank um, I like the, uh, the 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 holy rock lime rock that's a uh, to see a bigger picture of it. Looks like a mixed tank. There's some peacocks and haps and mabuna in, in there. Um, that's a classic example of a, a moderately stocked tank. Um, lots of places. There's a lot of mabuna in there, so a lot of good hiding places for them. I see a few haps in there, but it's primarily a mabuna tank. Um, really nice. I like the I like the way they just kind of flow together in there. Nice. I like the salt and pepper substrate. Yes, 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 yes. So let's bring us back here. Let's see, this is probably a little better here. All right, I'm still waiting to get word on what that number is. So, did you have a number by any chance, Ron? For the spin? Yeah. Or we're not gonna spin, we're gonna randomly generate the winner for this fish. I don't know how many people there were, so what number do you need from me? How many people typed in the word spin? I don't know. Last time you were counting as well. Oh, I thought that was Rebecca. Yeah, she is. I'm just waiting on it. I thought maybe if you knew. <clears throat> or if you can, if you can um, count between, yeah, can, count between, yeah, between my uh, spin to win, and then I typed in closed. All right. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Say thank you to everybody for being on tonight's show. As you know, the show's growing. Uh, We're getting more and more views. But tonight we have more comments than any other show at 607 right now. I'm sure that will continue on. I've lost my transmission on my iPad, so I can't really see what you're all seeing. I can only be in the moment. 45. 45. So that's always a mystery to me too, Ron, is how we get 100 people, but only 45 want fish. There's 100 but, of them on there right now. Yeah, yeah. 99. Yeah, yeah. So, I, you know, however that is, it's all good. I, I kind of know because, like, I don't want any more fish right now. <laughs> I'm good, like, with what I got. I'm, like, really good. And, uh, I mean, yeah, if this spectacular one comes along, right? All right, so let's go to random org and let's go ahead out of one out of 45 people. Uh, my eyes are starting to go bad. Let's see. No, I need to put my glasses on. Yeah, we're going to wrap this up real, real soon here. There it is. Okay, so we're going to refresh this. All right, so um, out of 45 people, can you tell us who number 14 is, please? Number 14. Now, this is a great, I mean, you won the grand prize, the the grand prize uh, on the spin to win uh, wheel when we do the wheel. And if you guys haven't seen that, if you're new to the show just right now today, this is what the wheel looks like. So we have this wheel. Come on, little fish. I'm done with you. We have this wheel with a bunch of prizes on it, right? 
and um, the black one is a grand prize as a fish. And so if we didn't get 100, we would do the spin to win right now. But since we got 100, we'll go straight to the grand prize. And I'm just waiting to find out who number four. I don't, I don't have, a, I mean, um, all, all the comments are to the point where I can't go back any farther to, to the beginning. I, I, can't, I can't scroll back. Let's see if I got something from Rebecca. We need to be, yeah, we need a better method in the future. Let's see. Adam Hudson was the last one at 45. So, five. Maybe it will count backwards. Oh, this is so cool. So, the, you know, I'm a big uh, marketing guy, just so you all, all know here. Let's see. I'm a big marketing guy. So, um, the demographics for most fish groups and uh, most um, social media and stuff is 85% men and 15% uh, women. And it looks like tonight we have a female winner. Ashley Stevens, you have won yourself a large fish off of ronsicklids.com. Uh, congratulations. Yeah, congratulations. So what you do is you go to Ron Cichlid's Facebook page and send a message there and say, hi, I'm Ashley. We'll know who you are, but just say hi. And, uh, and then he'll create a code for you um, that will get you your free fish and all that. You just go on and pick out a really cool fish. And uh, if you're not collecting uh, African cichlids now, you will be. <laughs> so right. you, can, you can redeem it for food or something else of equal value. I'll take care of you either way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So thank you, everybody, for uh, another show in the can. This is episode number five. This has been a great show. A little yep. long. Uh, it's about the same, though. We're averaging an hour 20 that's just the way it's been going there's a topic that um i could have talked about for 30 more minutes it's just uh, 30 you could have variables <laughs> you know hey. me i could talk all night about fish but let so me... much information in my brain and i can't get it all out in one show yeah but let me look in the camera because i don't i'm usually looking i've got four screens in front of me um we're having a lot of fun this is a lot of fun. It's uh, very rewarding as well because we see the impact that it's creating with the community. Um, if you have a Facebook page or a group and, and you just like to get that same kind of shout outs and things like that as 420 and, and uh, Cichlid Madness and the South Side Cichlids, Southeast Cichlids, those types of groups, uh, a royal uh, royalty, tell me Nate's group again, Royal Crown. Royal? Crown Crown Royal would be perfect for Crown me. Crown Royalty. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Nate. Everybody likes Crown Royal. Yeah, Nathan's group and uh, Nathan Pate. I can say his name correctly this time. But anyway, we, we're having fun, and let's just keep making it bigger and better. Uh, more call-ins, get people on there. Uh, I believe either two weeks or in three weeks we're going to have an expert on. Uh, one of our members is uh, uh, has a couple of degrees in chemistry and is very, very knowledgeable when it comes to uh, water parameters and things like that. I think he's going to come on with Ron and talk about some fish diseases and things like that, you know, some of the myths. Because a lot of, I mean, there's a lot of, I mean, I'm not saying that they're myths, but there's just a lot of, this person says this. I think it comes from 2008 to 2012, all those bulletin boards that were on the internet. You know, everybody, you know, just saturated that. But anyway, um, you have the final closing word, Ron. I just want to say thank you. You guys are good. This is awesome. I can interact with so many of you, and I see so many familiar faces. And uh, once again, keep doing what you're doing, and I want to keep doing what I'm doing. Um, um, Go to the go to the Facebook page, um, and if you've got pictures to show, show them. Um, if you want to talk about a topic, um, bring it up, and um, I will do my best to answer your questions. Um, I don't know what to say. It just uh, brings me such joy to interact with you guys and um, show my appreciation. Just I love all of you guys. Not not trying to be too emotional, but I I love all you guys. Thank you very much.
Awesome, awesome. Thanks to everybody that made this possible. Here is um we're out. We'll see you next week. Next okay. week we don't next week, um same time, eight PM Eastern, Fish Talk Live uh with Ron Demers. Thank you so much. Bye guys. Good night. Mm-hmm.